Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Holt Hanley. Good evening. You probably felt the cool down throughout the day today. Not as big of a change for the coast because we're always moderated there by the water, but inland areas cool down by as much as 10 to 15 degrees this afternoon. And then we're going to start cooling down a lot more over the next few hours. Marine layers moving back in and it'll push farther inland than it did a few nights ago just because we've had this cool down. So the marine layer stretches out and then clouds are able to stretch all the way into Gilroy or King City overnight tonight. These were your high temperatures this afternoon though. The coast between about 60 and 70. And then the big drop was in places like Morgan Hill and Gilroy. They were just around 80 degrees today. Yesterday they were still in the low to mid 90s. So that really kind of paints the picture of the drop in temperatures that we had. Now looking at the sky conditions tomorrow, this is where we're still just kind of in that same repetitive pattern. Very used to this at this point where you start off the day, this is about 7 a.m. in the morning, clouds stretching over the central coast, and then you get into the afternoon, clouds pulled back to the coast. It does look like there will be a few clouds lingering over places like the Monterey Peninsula. We had that today, which was part of the reason temperatures there, for the most part, stayed in the low to mid-60s. Now, we do still have mostly sunny skies expected for the majority of our cities tomorrow, especially for the inland ones, because there is still this strip of dry air over the central coast, but that is something we're going to have to watch closely over the next few days because of something called post-tropical cyclone Eugene. You can actually see it spinning right there. Now, just looking at that, you can tell it's not one of those clearly defined tropical storms or hurricanes. It's kind of fallen apart at this point, but there's still enough moisture left over that's going to be finding its way up into Southern California. And then we'll see if it makes it up into the Central Coast. So the timing on this would be more Wednesday and Thursday, especially Thursday though. At that point, places like King City or other cities around Southern Monterey County, they do have about a 20% chance for thunderstorms. But again, very low confidence event as of right now. It does look like most of the action with this system is going to be either to the east of us or to the south of us. That's where you can see some of the rain showing up. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Just something we'll keep an eye on over the next couple of days. I think the bigger changes that you felt have to do with your temperatures over this last weekend and even yesterday, we still had some low to mid 90s out there. Then we had the cool down because of this trough that moved into the Pacific Northwest. You can see how it, if you can actually imagine if these lines were straight, some of the air that would be up in Washington or Oregon is now pushing its way down into California. So whenever you hear trough, you can just kind of think cooling temperatures. And that is what we're still going to see over the next couple of days. We're still below average in terms of our heat. So Texas, Louisiana, they just can't catch a break. They still have some heat advisories, some excessive heat warnings. Meanwhile, California in the clear when it comes to the warnings out there. And Hopefully that continues, although looking at the long range outlook, it does, like we'll, it does look like we'll see a warming pattern more so towards the beginning of next week. Not seeing any triple digits in the eight day at this point though, so that's always good to say. Now coast tomorrow, still below average. Inland areas, looks like they're below average as well. We'll be starting the day off with some clouds and then along the coast, you could expect a little drizzle out there. I noticed that on my drive home late last night Pretty much had the windshield wipers going the entire time, and you might have on your morning commute today. But looking at the forecast highs for places like Morgan Hill and Gilroy, just back into the low 80s, so a lot more comfortable, in my opinion, than where we were on Sunday and Monday. And then Monterey Peninsula, that's where we're just staying in the 60s because of the marine layer that's been quite persistent over the last couple weeks. Made my job easy, though, just clearing skies throughout the day, and then some change in temperatures, more so towards the end of the week. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, yeah. how about the quiz? Our quiz was how many consecutive nights did Phoenix stay above 90 degrees? It went on and on. Well, I know daytime it went on and on. I'm going to go with B. I'm going to go with C. Yeah, it was 16 consecutive wow. nights, and then they were up above 110 for 31 days in a row. Yeah. In the days. Yeah. 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 Makes crazy. me grateful to live on the Central Coast. Yeah, That's why I love bet. these quiz questions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir.